Hi, I'm RJ Cluche, the golf course superintendent at the Edmonton Country Club. It's Wednesday, April 22nd today. Last Friday, we had well over a foot of snow wall to wall out here, and now it's completely gone. So I'd like to take this opportunity to take you around the golf course and show you firsthand what we're seeing. Here we are on the 10th hole. We sprayed up most of our green surrounds this year with a fungicide. Um, notice the bunkers for, you know, being Wednesday after the melt this weekend you know, upwards of a foot to 18 inches of snow in spots melted. Bunkers are already empty. We did not pump this bunker, so the drainage we fixed last season worked well. Look out on the fairway, there's still some remnants and some piles of dirt from where we fixed the drainage out there. Drainage, that lake is gone, did not pump it at all this year. 17, there was a bit of a lake in front of 17. We had to pump that, but it was gone in half a day. Um, so what we we're doing out here is, uh, is really starting to work. I'm out on the sixth fairway right now. Um, looking fairly good. You can see here there's some going to be some ice damage here for sure. Looks like the water collected up here and you can see it sort of running down that swell. Uh, a couple clear lines for sure of the melt. Um, also we've we cleared this area. Here's the two hundy plate. Um, we've cleared this area here. This is uh, some grass clippings from the remaining water and the ice that formed this winter. So the square, we cleared out a big square all the way out to about here. Had it, uh, had the ice all gone and melted. So it worked out really well. Looks like it, uh, it survived really well. So uh, here we are on the ninth tee box. Looks like all our tee boxes came through the winter really well. I did want to show you some damage that we have throughout the property. It seems like we had a bumper crop of voles this winter. Uh, you may have some on your home lawn as well. Uh, the vole is a rodent, um, specifically eating the crown of the plant. It doesn't like the leaf blade or the t any tissue of the plant. Just the crown is the succulent part for it. It's very safe from predators underneath the snow, so they can just feed and feed and feed all winter long and be very happy. So this is kind of the, what you see after uh, a vole's been uh, on your lawn or in the turf grass area. They leave all the leaf dead leaf blades around everywhere. Um, so you can see here it. Uh, uh, you basically will rake this up. Um, in the longer grass, they don't cause as much damage as the shorter stuff. There's lots of green material and, and uh, grass still alive back in here. So we won't do much about this uh, uh, on the tee boxes, though. However, we will just uh, put some divot mix down and fill in these uh, channels that they made and uh, recover that way. Jump forward to April 29th, and we're starting to get the frost out of the ground and get our water up and running. We tried out some new tarping materials on uh, our 16th green last year and it came out almost perfect. Um, some of the other greens uh, suffered some damage from uh, water leaking through the tarps and, and other spots. Uh, here's the approach on 16. Came through really well except for some bowl damage you can see right here that we need to clean up. Um, we have some sod arriving on the 6th of May uh, and we'll start uh, sodding uh, some of these small spots on our greens and uh, get ready for play. So hopefully the government gives us some good news and uh, we can be uh, swinging a club sooner than later.